Hello everyone. Welcome back to another exciting After Effects tutorial. In this tutorial, you will learn how to create this amazing Flickr text animation without using any third-party plugins. Before we start with After Effects, I want to say that about 94% of you are enjoying my tutorials but haven't subscribed yet. I truly value your support, and I would greatly appreciate it if you could take a moment to subscribe to my channel. It will motivate me to make more awesome tutorials. Thank you so much. So without further ado, let's get started. Open Adobe After Effects then create a new composition. Name it to Flickr Text Animation or any name you like. Set the resolutions to 1920 by 1080 pixels, 30 frames per second. And set the duration to 5 seconds. Go to the toolbar, and select the type tool. Click anywhere on the screen and then type anything you want. Select the text layer, and center the anchor point. Then align your text to the center. Go under the text properties. Then click this little animate button, and choose opacity. Decrease the opacity to 0%. Go under the range selector 1, then add a keyframe on start. Move your time cursor to 2 seconds, then change the start value back to 100%. Let's see the preview. Go under the advanced settings. Change the smoothness value to 0%. Then turn on the randomize order. Move your time cursor to the first frame. Click the random seed stopwatch icon to add a keyframe. Again move your time cursor to 2 seconds. Change the random seed value to 35. Let's see the preview again. Cool. It looks good to me. Select the text layer and press the U key on the keyboard to reveal all keyframes. Move your time cursor to 3 seconds. Click these little dots to add a keyframe. Move your time cursor to the last frame. Then change the random seed value back to 0. And start value back to 0%. Our text will appear from 0 to 3 seconds, and then it will disappear after 3 seconds. Select the text layer and make a duplicate. Select the duplicated text layer. Then press the enter. And change the layer name to Flickr Stroke. This will be our stroke layer. Hide the bottom text layer for a while. Move your time cursor where our text is completely visible. Keep the Flickr Stroke text layer selected. Switch the fill color to stroke. This action will change our text fill color to stroke. Now. Increase the stroke width to 5 pixels. Now unhide the bottom text layer. And then see the preview again. Nothing has changed, right? Just select the flicker stroke layer, press U to reveal all keyframes, select the random seed keyframe, and change its value from 35 to 50. Also, do the same for the second keyframe. Let's see the changes. Cool. It looks perfect to me. By applying this technique you can make even better text animation. Let me tell you how I created the colorful flicker animation. Now follow the next step. Let's add some colors. So go to the projects section. Select the flicker text animation composition and make it duplicate by pressing the Ctrl plus D key on the keyboard. Rename the composition if you want. And then double click on it. Now delete the stroke layer as we don't need it right now. Go to the file menu, then import. Select and import these two files. I will provide everything with the project file. Drag and drop the colors image just below the text layer. Move it bottom of the screen. Select the first letter of the text. 
Select the eyedropper tool and select the first color. Select the second letter of the text, again select the eyedropper tool and select the second color. Let me do it faster to save your time. Our Flickr text animation is almost ready, but if you want to make it look more beautiful then check the next steps. Select the Flickr text layer and make it duplicate. Rename it to the Flickr Glow. Go to Effects and Presets. Search and apply the Gaussian Blur Legacy effect on it. Change the blurriness value to 30. Now, it looks cool and colorful flicker text animation. Let me add a stroke. I will repeat the same process as before. Duplicate the flicker text layer. Hide the bottom layers for a while. Select the each letter, then switch the fill color to stroke. Do the same process for the remaining letters. Select all text then change the stroke width to 5 pixels. Also, don't forget to change the random seed value. Let's unhide the bottom layers and check the preview. Cool. It looks amazing to me. Our colorful flicker text animation is ready. Let me add the sound effect. Go to the projects tab. And drag and drop the sound file to the composition. Move your time cursor to where our flicker text animation starts animating. Then move the sound layer to that position. Move your time cursor where the flicker completes its animation. Keep the sound layer selected. Go to the edit menu. Then select split layer. This action will split our sound file into two layers. Move your time cursor to about 3 seconds and 4 frames. Then move the second sound layer to that position. Let's see the final output. Perfect. I'm satisfied with the result. I hope this was helpful, and that you have learned a lot from this tutorial. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more upcoming tutorials. Thanks for watching, and peace.